And today marks the start of a new push to address homelessness around San Diego. This comes a week after Mayor Todd Gloria signed the city's $4 billion budget for the next fiscal year. News 8's Chris Groh is live right now with a closer look. Good morning, Chris. Good morning. We're seeing a lot of stakeholders out here today on Broadway. This is the beginning of a month-long process, and right there, that is essentially what they are trying to end. Those homeless individuals there that are forced to live out on the streets, and they are making contact with the people that are out here on downtown. So we are seeing a number of advocates, volunteers, and staff members uh, from a number of different organizations, including both the city and county, going out and trying to reach out to these people one-on-one, -on -one make those relationships, try to bridge that gap there between services, beds, and those that are still out there and have not tried to access that help or continue to decline accessing that help. Now, we did speak with Mayor Todd Gloria just a short time ago. Here's a little bit of our conversation when I asked him, what does a successful program like this look like? Success would be a reduction in the number of people who are living on our streets, a reduction in the number of tents that we see in the community, an increase in the number of contacts with our unsheltered individuals, um, and hopefully an indication uh, that this situation, this crisis that has been made worse because of the pandemic uh, is becoming less worse, and hopefully an increase in the number of beds that are in the community. And look, one of the things that Mayor Gloria and I talked about, too, was the fact that some people who continue to live on the street, especially downtown, sometimes will decline services. Well, he said the best part about a program like this is that it's not just today. It's not a one-time canvas. This is a month-long process. And so the idea is that they try to build trust and relationship with those individuals to try to see if they can get them to access those services after declining them. Eric and Stella.